For the final segment of this um, podcast, we are going to do a a music draft. So what's been going on, or what I've been seeing on social media, is how people have been creating their own festivals based off of their listening history on like Spotify or Apple Music. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to create three days of a festival. Okay. We're going to pick whatever artist we want. Five rounds. You pick five artists for a festival. I don't have a draft randomizer pulled up. I should have did that, right? So, do the so okay? <laughs> Can it be from like the same genre? Does do I have to pick? It, it does not matter. You pick any five artists okay. that you want. Is that fair? That's fine with me. All right. So we only going to do. No, I gotta go through my phone. Let me know when y'all ready. I'm gonna be ready in two seconds. Music's too deep. I don't need a list. I don't. I mean, we can name 15 artists. And Time. Like, okay. Another question: Does it have to be an artist that's currently living? No. no. Oh, okay. That's, my, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely not. I, 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 it definitely adds something to it, doesn't it? That just opened the door. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Who goes mm-hmm. first, though? That's the thing. He's the order will be. Sorry, I'm, I'm randomizing it three times. Okay. Okay. One. Two. Damn, my computer moving on slow. And the order will be John Akeem Me. Okay. All right, we're gonna snake it. Are we doing snake or are we doing just fold out? Snake is fine. Let's snake it. Okay. We got five rounds here. John Akeem Me. On you. Uh, okay. First pick, first pick, first pick. I'm gonna go Beatles. Hmm. I'm gonna go Beatles, Live or Dead. Mm. Go Why not? Throwing out the dead one early. Okay. Well, alrighty. My first pick is going to be Michael Joseph Jackson. Okay, nice, nice. I'm out at that. I'm just putting it in here, right here. My pick will then be since you took MJ. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go Drake. Okay. Nice. I have a back to back pick actually. Yeah, you do. You <laughs> went new. I'm just saying. I, I, don't I, feel, I feel a little irony in that statement right there. Well, you go old with your last one. <laughs> <laughs> My next pick. Oh, damn, this is tough. I know if I pick an artist, I don't get the group, but I don't want to pick the group. Mm. But I want the artist. Mm-hmm. Say what you need to say. Just That's say what hard. you need to say. Can I take the artist in the group, guys? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wait, time out. But if I does take the artist, does, I can not get the group anyway. Does, yeah, it's does this exactly. artist have more, well, he gets, he has Jackson more five, solo with music it. than with the group? Yes. Yeah, yeah but, but like, the but like, the, the but if I take the artist, I technically get the group anyway. Yeah, because but, he might bring them out. Yeah, as but a not group. as a whole thing. Like they're not all gonna perform. At the we have one number, song like, that you, you bring in the group for. On Bruno Mars. Wow, really? That was oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I want. I like. I love Silk Sonic's album, so I had to. Okay. Okay. You think like Akeem? Um. <laughs> all right. So go going off of Elijah's logic. If I pick the artist, I also get the group. Beyonce. Um, I'm picking Beyonce. Who wouldn't? You gotcha. Which means I also get Destiny's Child. For one song, but go ahead. 
Not for one song. For one song, Akeem. No, he, said, he said that. He said that. He did say oh, that. I didn't hear one that. song. You okay, got one song fine. of Destiny. That's, that's fine. For a concert of Beyonce. That is fine with me. All right. I might pick all dead people. Oh, God. I might. So, I might. He said he's going to pick all dead people. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. Let me just. Right. I'm going to go Louis Armstrong. <gasps> yeah. Wow. I went to New Orleans this summer. It was beautiful. I got I to gotta cover jazz. Louis Armstrong. All um, right. You got another pick? I do. Oh, I love this back-to-back. Round three. You know, for all the white bitches out there, for all the basic white girls who are in my generation, who I love you, I just want to let you know, your artist who who is breaking boundaries. All right, I'm gonna pick her right here. You know, just because I need I need I need some some girl power I on my know team. Who's picking. Taylor Swift. Absolutely. I already put it in the chat. So. Just, get the just get her out the way. I'm just. She needs to be on there. She needs to be oh in it somewhere. God. I mean, she's she's maybe not a. Uh, She's more of a five or four round pick, personally for me. But like, I just with all the all the stuff she put out, I gotta gotta put her in there. Go ahead. You want to get her out the way? Is, I get it. Funny part is, I haven't heard anything. The last Taylor Swift album I've given, bro, you gotta a, look at Midnight. A slight <laughs> listen to was. Do you know about the re-record? I heard of it. Don't ask me what's on there. No, it's the just, last, the last album I heard, heard, I think, might have been, what was it, 1987 or whatever? I don't know. Yeah. No, it's a, she, she's the first ever artist to re-record her music. To keep oh, her. okay. So that that I did know, because she, like, owns all of her. Yeah, now she stuff. does. Because she, she was she was kind of promised it. Like, all these artists are kind of, at a point, promised, you know, their, their record collection. Or yeah. at least their the chance to buy it. And mm-hmm. uh, somebody snaked her. And she was the first person to just re-record everything. And now her fans, like, if it's not it, they, like, have a fit if it's not, like, her version. Because then she won't be getting paid. You know what I mean? And it's just, like, mm-hmm. good for her. But, and her generation. But what you got next, Akeem? Akeem, next pick. All right. So I have Michael Jackson. I have Beyonce. Oh. Oh, God. This is hard. Um, all right, so my next pick is gonna be all right, let's see. So the the greatest voice ever, in my opinion. Um Whitney Houston. Uh that was a good pick. That was a good pick. Did you already have that typed up before I even <laughs> you know where she's from? <laughs> what a wait a minute. Do you know I where she's from? Know. That's that's kind of scary. I can't. Hakeem. What? You know where the greatest voice is from? Do I? I'm sorry, what? Do you know where she's from? Is she from Jersey? Yeah, she's from Newark, like Shaq. <laughs> Her and Shaq are both from Newark. Wow. I'm just saying, like, for a city that gets so much trash for it, it really puts out the best of the, the best. The voice of a generation. And Shaq completely changed basketball. I'm just is saying. from, wow. I feel like I need some R&B. Even yeah. though I have Bruno, I have Drake. That's a good pick. I might need some like some real R and B. Well, I'm gonna have to go I'm with nervous. somebody that nobody had on their radar, probably. How you never know? I'm going with Luther Vandross. Wow. Ooh, okay. Wow. Like I need some. Now, are you going with? Luther when he was big, or was he lost all the weight? Because they're not. Listen, the it same. don't matter. I took Luther. Okay. <laughs> I got Luther. I didn't ask you if he was taking MJ when he was white or when he was black. You feel me? Oh, and if you would, if you would have asked, I would have given you an answer. You would have taken the black one. I know. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Black MJ versus white MJ is a crazy versus right there. But whew, that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just, that's a lot of hits. I like White MJ too. Don't get me wrong. Like I really do. I love him this time. One more. All right. No, two more. This yeah, because I was this round four. four. My bad. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Round four. This, this is so tough because it's really all time. It really makes you think. So I got Drake, Bruno, and Luther. 
I think my next pick is going to get my last pick will be personal. This pick will be have a name. I'm sorry. Wait, you have two more picks after this? Didn't you just I have add? one more pick after, after oh, this okay. one? Gotcha, gotcha. You know what? I'm going to take something nobody else would think either. Oh, Let me make sure I'm spelling his name right before I type it. Okay. Out of a newer name. All right. Get to it. But I, I fuck with country music. So I'm taking Morgan Wallen. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Just to show my diversity. You feel me? Interesting. Popular now. I don't know. It's decent. It's decent. I like it. It's just wow. to, it's just to show some diversity. You feel me? Right. Okay. Um, well, so yeah, my, I'm gonna show you. I got to pander to everybody around me who's coming to this festival. No, I don't have that issue. So, um, because my but first three let me, let me artists guess, have let me all guess, been. Let me guess. No, you're not gonna get it right. Um, so because my first three artists have all been, um, you know, real R and B. I'm going to go with my favorite rapper, and it's going to be Mr. Sean Carter. Okay, Sean Carter. Nice. Yes, yes. Mr. H to the Izzo. V to the Izzo. Last two picks. Last two picks. Oh, God, that's right. You get to pick yours back to back. Wow. Well, Whitney Houston really was my next pick, so nice pick. <sighs> You just made me want to take out Morgan Wallen. You should take out Morgan Wallen. That was a bad pick. I don't mean to be like that. <laughs> I'll stop it. I, I like Morgan Wallen too. I just we <laughs> going stop it. Pick Lil Nas. The fact that you went with a newer artist, like it was good. It was good. It was a good pick. But I just no, I love his album. Yeah, but yeah. that's one album. He's good. He's good. I love, there, I are like country, there are country. There are country singers that have. 30 and 40 and 50 years worth of music. You should have won with the king. But there's also... Can I swap the pick? You can swap it. Go ahead. I'll let you swap it. I'm swapping it for Jasmine Sullivan. (gasps) Go ahead. I'm sorry. You know what? If I can't have have Whitney Houston, who, yeah, is, is probably dead, the best voice, all right, from this area, all right? The best voice from this area. All right. I'm going to give you someone who's alive. There's an E at the end of Jasmine. What? No. I see. He, sp- he spelled her name wrong. He forgot the E. Oh. I did. Sorry. It's too late now. The message is already sent. <laughs> All right. We're the only ones who can see that. But uh, no. Uh, I'm going to go Alicia Keys. For my hmm. first. I like like first two, one, two. I could go. I, she has like four or five. First two and a half albums of Alicia Keys, I like her. Yeah. yeah. All right. Once she decided to stop wearing the makeup, but she she plays a lot that's of. That's for me. She plays a lot of like tributes, like she for Sandy Relief. She like lit up the garden. Like yeah, her her you know she's she's yeah. great on the instrument. Her like her her top three songs are killer. Other than that, I get what you're saying now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now her first album. I had on cassette tape that shows how old I am. Mm-hmm. Um, I had it on cassette tape. 20, 20, 20 what? What? 27? 29. I thought I thought it was <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It was the it was the the eye opening. Like it was just alarming that someone this old and decrepit can figure out how to work technology. Like No, nah, I I thought you was 27. That's why I'm no, saying no, no. like, oh no, 93. Yeah, but no, I had it. I had it for this album, and it was I. I played that so much it started skipping. So then I had to buy the CD version. Okay, John, you got one more pick. I know it's hard. I don't. I don't know what. Well, one. Know last one, so just, just I know it will be my last one. If you don't pick who I think you're about to pick, I'm going to tell you who I think you're gonna pick because I know I know Akeem's not gonna pick. Who do you think? Pick, and then I'll see if I was right. Okay. I mean, I have I have an honor mention you won't even get, but. Uh, go ahead. Give me, a, give me two. All right, I'm gonna go post Malone. Oh, go I thought you were gonna take Frank Sinatra. Oh, really? Oh, oh because of the New Jersey thing. 
Frank yeah. is actually like no offense, kind of interesting. I mean, I, I like you, his, Malone was on my list too. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Appreciate, appreciate. But I, I've seen a couple of his concerts. I like his story. He, uh, I went to school up by Syracuse, so that's where he was kind of born around. So like, oh, I, I met his like grandmother's friends at like, bars or something. You know what I mean? They'd be like, "Oh my god, I know that guy." Um, I think I know Akeem's next pick as well. If if I got Alicia Keys and a Post Malone, Randy, that's what's up. Yeah, I said I'm gonna end the concert with my favorite singer. And that'll probably be the day that I cry because it's all over and all that other stuff. Chardonnay, yes. <laughs> You're stupid. Now you may want to go watch the game. My, one of my comfort shows. And my <laughs> last pick, I'm getting personal. Okay. I'm nervous. It's just world. Okay. Oh, all right. Never mind. I thought it was going to be. Malone from me. So I'm kind of. I wish Usual World World's still here, bro. You should have just. Mm. Y'all want to do one more round? Yeah, we'll do honorable mentions. All right, but honorable Give me mentions. somebody that – we'll do two honorable mentions, somebody that you really like that you wish was on your list, and somebody that you know nobody knows. All right, this somebody is I really list. like that I wish was still on my list is – am I going? It's still because I can yeah, sneak, right? You can go. You can go. Stevie Wonder. Oh, nice pick. Nice. And give, do, you, do you have somebody that you don't think any of us know? Somebody I don't think any of you know – Just because I'm going to throw out a name and I, I'm wondering if you guys know it. The name is not going to be anybody that I don't think you guys know. But. Fuck, I'm torn again. Just pick one. First one that comes to your head. Go. Which one is it? They're both there. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> nah, so pick, pick them both. All right. Why not tell us both? Good I job. mean, nobody's gonna pick the other one anyway. And sort of, oh, that's supposed to be a semicolon. I'm failing English. I'm sorry. Anatonics <laughs> <laughs> oh. and Charlie Poole. <gasps> I guess. Charlie <sighs> Poole? Akeem knows. I, I, I like know Charlie Poole. Taylor, but I, I would, I don't know. I like Poole. I'll be honest with you and why I chose Charlie Puth, though. Charlie Puth is... Pentagon's a good pick. He is a walking instrument. He is yeah. a walking instrument. I wish to be a touring artist. If I'm not on tour with Charlie Puth or Bruno Mars, I'm going to cry. Nah. <laughs> you could be with somebody else. Those are two artists right there that I want to, like, absolutely just want to tour for. Mm -hmm. And Pentatonix is just dope as fuck. Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, it's fun. Thank God you said that. I guess we're going with three honorable mentions. I'm so jealous. Oh my god, I'm so mad that I you picked it. Too I love the book. Who? I um, love the Pentatonics. I don't know. They, they're really good. They, plus, they're going on tour right now. I don't know if anyone's going on. I, I know. I'm trying to go see them because they're coming to they're coming to our casino. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, but like, I want good tickets. I don't just want to be in the building. Do you know uh, that they have a duo coming with them called Cost and Mayor? Maybe I'm messing up their name. I don't know who they are, but I'll look them up. They're a dancing duo. That hey, we, we're pushing 135 right now. so We are. Okay, I'm right. sorry. Um, okay, so because I was I was looking through my phone trying to find God, people. Damn it, I got another one. Two on real mentions, Akeem. Let's go. Okay. Um. So this is it. <laughs> Oh damn, this is gonna be kind of hard. All right, because it wasn't really a necessarily a group, like a a group like a band. It was a group like a like a label. So like like Young Money is a label, okay. but it's also the name of the group. Okay. So I was gonna pick Bad Boy because that's that's a lot of artists. Um, but if if y'all would have said that wasn't allowed, then I would have just went with DJ Khaled because then he still would have brought out five hundred people. He's bringing out everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> you bringing out everybody I named. <laughs> you wonder. Like, yeah. Um, so I probably would have went with DJ Khaled. Um someone that I oh, and this this isn't even like people that you won't know. Um, so I probably would have brought out Fab. Okay. Um B A L O. Right. Even though 
I feel like him performing might be kind of dry because he don't do a lot. He, yeah, he, he rap, he's, he's a, a rap too slow. He's a rapper. Not right. Well, so was Jay-Z, but his shows are still... No, Jay-Z could perform, though. Mm-hmm. Rap is literally just a rapper. Yeah. Like, that, I don't know if this was a wild and out performance. <laughs> but it was one of the driest oh, performances awesome. of all time. Absolutely. <laughs> and he stood there with the mic just doing this the whole time. Like that's <laughs> not that was pretty good. That yeah. was pretty good. Um, and as far as other people... Yeah, we got one more. Mm. I'm so mad. See, I just, I just think of because because the people I picked were all, were mostly all R and B. So now I'm all I'm thinking of is is like rappers. Um, I want to take Luther out. Uh, oh, okay. So an artist that y'all might or might not know. Um, I, I, I have two also. Uh, so one, one is Avery Wilson. Okay. Um. He's 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 from Connecticut, which you know I I like most hometown people. Um, and the other one, um, his name is Gene Noble. Okay, both singers, and they both have um, amazing voices. Um, I don't know so if yeah, I spelled his name wrong. I'm sorry, if I did. huh? I don't know if I spelled his name wrong. I'm sorry if you, I did. No, you spelled it right. All right, cool. All right, so you got four. I got one more, but I'm going to go after John. Yeah, but you got the Pentatonix. That's a whole squad. I still got one more. Acapella group. Ahead, wait, wait, so how many honorable mentions are we doing? Are we doing I two? Yeah, four honorable mentions, clearly. Okay, so. I mean, I don't know. Jeez. I took three, he took four, so go ahead. It was the I would say two or three. Clearly, clearly. For me. He said, I do have a couple. If, well, if we're talking rap, a concert I've been to, love, would go again tenfold with Khalifa. I would 100% see him again. Oh, that's awesome. That adds up entirely. I mean, that that was probably the, the <clears throat> greatest fight I've ever seen at a concert ever. Was it was like this giant chick fight? It was like, <laughs> like fifteen girls, like three boyfriends. It was awesome. Oh my god! Yeah, we were in, we were. I was I was on the, the the lawn and I was just standing somewhere minding my own business, like chilling. <laughs> and, uh, out of nowhere, some girl like oh, was this other girl, and it's like crazy. Yeah, 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 it was in Camden. It was pretty, really, really good, but um. I do Wiz Khalifa is one of my honorable mentions. Grateful Dead is one of my honorable mentions. Grateful Dead. Oh my yes. gosh. I didn't even pick any boy bands. Damn. I didn't yeah, I didn't pick any bands boy either. Bands. Again. Bands. Now I'm mad. They're but stoner, man. Continue. Go ahead, you got two but, more. Um, and then maybe maybe some of you guys don't know. Uh, you know, John Lee Hooker by any chance? Nah, how you spell it? Mm-mm. Uh I don't really I'm horrible at spelling, but uh John, I think it's pretty simple. John Lee Hooker, but three uh, names or is it? Yes, three names. He, he's a guitarist. He's a blues guitarist. My dad went to go see him. He, he was like this really old, old black man that they like helped up on stage. I'm glad you said it was three names because I literally put J O H N L Y. Oh, oh but, yeah, but they, no, it's three names John yes. Lee Hooker. Hooker. Yeah, got you. But uh, they, they put a chair and a guitar out, my dad was saying, and like. The way his fingers moved was insane, even at like 80. And like, I try to go to like record shops all the time. Like, I, I play records, and you can never find his records. They're like, like seriously, like scarce. Like, they're pretty rare. So, like, if you ever see a John Lee Hooker record, it's like he's he's a really really good guitarist. Like, mm-hmm. if, like I look out for him. But uh, yeah, overall. Those, I mean, those are my honorable mentions. I mean, maybe John Mayer because I didn't really know who he was when I went to college, and then Ooh, like that's a good one. That's a I mean, my name one. is John Mayer, so like Roxy mm-hmm. Star, mm-hmm. like is your body a Wonderland? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I just was yeah. crazy. So you said John Mayer. Your name is John Mayer. I have somebody what? on my Facebook named John Moyer. Oh really? Oh my God. A, oh, so weird. Damn. Wow. Wait, John is in J O N or J O H N? J O H N. Okay, that's a John. Wow. J O N is Jonathan, and that's not my motherfucking name. So <laughs> I just want to put that out there because the, in college, Akeem, bro, there's these girls that were like, Sounds not a proper name. I'm going to call you Jonathan. And All I'm right. like, bro. Mm-mm. My last honorable mention. Who was it? Not even an honorable mention. I'm taking out Luther Vandross and I'm putting in Jacob Collier. Okay. <gasps> that's that song you sent me. It's a good. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He did an interview talking about him. He did an interview on the Jennifer Hudson show where she went through his range as, you know, like as a singer or whatever. And he went through the 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 bass, tenor, alto, and soprano, you know, all the notes and stuff. And like it was it was beautiful. I know you said Charlie Puth is a walking instrument. Mm-hmm. This nigga. He'll make you want to quit and practice at the same time. Listen here, because yeah, you know, no, no, I'm gonna send you. A, I'm gonna send you a song, bro. Yeah, send me a song. Yes. But I um, my last I, song, I, I had that song on repeat while I was sleeping. Like I, didn't, I wasn't even awake, and the song was just playing. Oh, really? Nice. Here's my last honorable mention because I didn't pick any bands. Give me Fallout Boy. You picked Pentatonix. That counts as a band. Fallout Boy. Fallout Boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like it. That's good. Whatever. Well, if I had to pick one, mine would be. Uh, it would probably be Green Day. Okay. That's a good one. Oh, I love Green Day. I'd be the Rolling Stones because Ooh. because my favorite like story. Uh, ever from a photographer was there was this, this really famous one uh, I'll, I'll tell you about her later but she she quit her job at Rolling Stone the magazine to go tour with Rolling Stone oh, and wow. I, well, I would do that too and I when I first heard that I was like you're crazy why would you ever quit a staff photography job but like with, the, Ro- with the Rolling Stone that is one of the most well known rock and roll uh, magazine band. publications in the world yeah to quit that job to go on tour with a band I mean it must have been fun Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I got one more then since we, since we, bro. Oh my god, right? Okay, you already got what? Panic at the disco. Panic at the disco is a great one. It's a great one. I'm Uh I'm not taking them. I'm just saying, like, I'm that makes me miss like like old school rock music. So, like, My Chemical Romance, My Chemical Romance was good. I mean, it goes right with Rolling Stone, huh? Linkin Park, Linkin Park is good. Blink 182? Like, right. 182, like Blink ye- 182, Yellow Card, Huba Stank, yeah. like Yellow Card is Ocean song. Avenue is probably one of the greatest songs. I love that song, bro. I love that song so much. I, I I heard that song in high school and I was like, why? Like this song is like at first I hated it and then it grew so much on me. If I could find you now, things were well, you know another song that's probably a top five song of all time, but it's so slept on. What? Iris by the Voo dolls. Okay. I'm at that slept line. So I don't know that, but I will look it up. I do know that song. That's a good song. That song right there. I had my friend over the summer. I had 2%. I blasted this song. I was working at camp over the summer. No more. My phone died. <laughs> he left. He left. He left. <laughs> Charge up, son. Oh, my God. God. He said, all right, guys. I'm done. I'm you want me to play it? Nah, I got it right here. Okay. 